Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. My thing, yeah. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I think I've owned these jeans for over 10 years. No holes. No holes. No holes. Little Z. It's my birthday today. And I'm the ripe age of 27. One. I've had these shoes for a year, and they do have mini holes. One year. Whoa. And Director Cogger. Follow me on TikTok, Director Cogger. Shameless plug. Hey, shut up, man. <laughs> Very shameless. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Happy birthday, Zay. Happy Woo-hoo. birthday. I'm going to roll a four because it's my birthday. Holy shit. Oh, oh, that one. was off screen. It was a four. It was it's a four. four. That's why wow. we all reacted like it this was. This is a podcast. Audio listeners won't know I'm lying. That's oh, true. If I fucking say it. Yeah. So here's yeah. something weird for my birthday. Well, not that weird. Well, last night, Maddie gave me what oh, she referred oh, to oh, as oh, a snack. Oh, Spanish delight. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, it was last 27 night. spanks on the tush. <laughs> Birthday. Uh, she gave me what she referred to as a decoy present, oh. which because like I've known she's I've orga- she's organizing that. me a surprise for Saturday. Tune in next a week if you want to hear what that is. Oh. But then she was like, "Oh, you know, it's not too much. Like your main presents on Saturday." I was like, "Cool." And she got me like a book, and then some of those like you know coupons for different things. Like you said, the birthday blowy. Uh, no, not really, but <laughs> definitely, really. Wait, no, not oh. Pound it. I wish. Wait, so that's not a that's just an actual present. Yeah, still. she got me a book, the coupons, and like a beer and something else. A book. Just to tie him over. Yeah, I was like, oh cool. Like uh So what's you know, I was like quite happy with it. Then this morning she was like, Psych, bet you thought that present last night was a piece of shit. And then I was like, Oh, I'm, I was quite happy with yeah. it. She's like, Oh, anyway, here's your real present. And she got me like a really nice dress shirt that I was needing with some like cufflinks. Oh yeah. this very nice. sounds mean. Decoy the, the decoy presents. present? Yeah. Why well, it probably would have been mean of me if I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, I suppose that's but true, but that's what happy. she's setting you up for. It wasn't shit enough. It needed to be yeah, worse. Yeah, and then she was like, bet you thought I was a bad girlfriend. And I was like, no. Yeah, these are great. You're like, yeah. reading your book as she I don't says know it. about this all, from Maddie. All the <laughs> gifts I've got people in my life have been like a decoy yeah. to lead up to the good one I'm going to get later. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the good present. Yeah, I'm, I'm building it into something <laughs> real good because so far they've been pretty bad. No, it did, but it was like a nice surprise on my actual birthday today. Uh, when I got another present, which Maybe I wasn't I sh- expecting. Oh. Is- I don't rate the strat though. Yeah, what's Sorry, the expectation Maddie. on you for next year with Maddie now? Like, do you have to get like a pre decoy present and then like a post present afterwards? I'm, I'm going to get her like something really, really bad. And then she's going to be like, nah, it's just a decoy present and she'll never get a good <laughs> <one>. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, decoy presents. No. You we- one present's too many presents. Oh, so you didn't get me anything? I no, take that's it. right. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and nothing is not a decoy. Is presence enough? Exactly. If only you would come to any events. Oh, well, that's yeah, that's only for <laughs> special occasions, really. How Birthdays about you come to one. the next? <laughs> you come to the next party I have, Jackson. That'll be a good um, present. That's a rare I'll think present. About it. That's an expensive one on Jackson. Yeah, that's I'll very expensive. Think about it. I'll give you a coupon. Oh, sorry, spending time with me is such. A oh, chore. It's not the spending time with you. It's the spending time with Jordan. Oh, oh yeah! Oh man! Oh, out of it's, nowhere. It's nothing. You went yeah, straight for the juggler. We had gone jugular. a bit far without bullying Jordan on the podcast. It was a quick drive by to start us off. <laughs> oh, I've been having a good time until now. Oh no, Did Jordan that enjoyed it. it. Yeah. Did you get those shorts just now? Or you no, mean? I've had them for year, months, months. Okay. Uh, so twenty-seven, <laughs> Zach. Are you in your late twenties now, or is it still your mid twenties? Well, twenty-seven and a half would be yeah. the border on late, right? So okay. you're still mid. Mid sort answer. of 22.5 to 27 and a half. At least that's what you would say if you recently turned 27 and we're trying to stretch being young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone <laughs> would say that if yeah, they were at that definitely point. me. How are you feeling? Old? Dead? Kid-like? Hopefully not Pretty dead. Pretty much the same. Bitty, bit crusty. But what is that? It's such a shit birthday. 27. 27. Mm. Nothing eventful. Yeah, you got to spend we it with the boys. We were talking about this earlier, <laughs> actually, and, I, and we were saying, like, what's the worst birthday? I said 43. That's got to be bad. Doesn't sound good. Nothing's yeah. happening then. It's got to be something late too. What about um 68? Because it's just so much worse than 69. And mm. you're just old. True. What about 101? If you have kids, Ooh. they're probably like, moved When's out. your next milestone if you get to 100? Nah, yeah. it's fucking, it's There's nothing. a Dalmatian though. 102. <laughs> yeah, well, what are the odds you get to another significant birthday after 100? What's the next one? 125 or something? 111, right? 111. That's oh, pretty, yeah, that's awesome. pretty good. Do you reckon every- any of us are making it there? Oh, oh, hell with no. modern medicine, yeah. 
You reckon, you don't reckon, and what no. do you reckon? Well, uh, you know, we all got a bit of influence. Maybe we could get one of those cryogenic head freeze dealios. There's a chance. Like future armor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. That's going to be me. Are they working on that, or they've done that? Oh, you'd hope so. Well, well, what else are they, what working, else are they on working on my thing where they keep your brain going? That's still you. Not this again. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, everyone we'll move on. everyone we'll actually on. was on board for that last podcast. You know, we gave pretty Jordan smart. a bit of shit, it's but pretty the, smart. the brain transplant moving down in generations, actually not a bad idea. Isn't that what the, like Assassin's Creed's about? I haven't played it. I don't know. You're learning your ancestors' shit by oh, like- Oh, that sounds familiar now you Because you're not actually in the past. You're like in the present reenacting the past in those yeah, games. Yeah, you're in like a simulation. Yeah, right? and like, you're trying to learn your ancestors. You're so you're, you're getting the brain transplant by murdering people. Wow. Is it just me or has there not been many exciting game releases this year? I think- we're old. Like, I think it's more to do with your taste. I think there has been a lot of good ones, to be oh, honest. Oh, really? Well, like Mario and Rabbids is like, I'm more in the Nintendo sphere. So there that was, was the only one that I saw. Multiverses was pretty good. Oh, was that this year? Yeah. Big. Splatoon just came out. I'm sure if we were younger and more excited by games, we'd be like, Splatoon. And Woo! then Pokemon's coming out <laughs> yeah. in a month. Pokemon. Yeah, well, I was going to say Pokemon is coming up. Zelda's coming out next year, is it? New Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon coming up. Best time to make some Pokemon videos that perform badly. Ooh. Get on it, guys. Surely Peter, when the game comes out. Good, you had a good Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I've had a couple. Yeah. Of good, good. It was like he's under arrest. So, so <laughs> the, one, one. the one I uploaded this week, what was it? Bad? What was I that? I have not. Well, we didn't watch seen. it, so. <laughs> what uh, was Matt, it? Maddie guessing. The oh, Pokemon. that was good. Oh, yeah, that's that good. That's one of your best videos. But that's opinion. like Thank Pokemon you. without using any Pokemon game. You know? Sorry, go again? It's like Pokemon without using a Pokemon game. You're not game. playing a game, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're just using the franchise, I guess. Yeah. Big on Pokemon. I'm so excited for the new game. I think it's the most excited oh. I've been in a game for a game in so long. I hope you're ready to be disappointed. Oh, oh, no, time. I won't be because I play with Brooke and she has an open mind and she's just excited by any new Pokemon she's never seen before, which is all of them. So She's into it. You've hooked <laughs> she her loves in. it. Yeah. So I'll have fun if I don't talk to anyone else that plays it properly. Other than and pro then I yeah. get in there and I'm like, I can't believe they removed the yeah. battle factory <laughs> from the frontier. Why does EXP share have to yeah. be on? Zero out of 10 game. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. After playing with Maddie, EXP share being on absolute game. Game changer for noobs. You need I it. I see why they oh, have it yeah. automatic. And then even back in the day where you had to find it, yeah, cut that shit out. You just start with Yeah, yeah I, I'm all free. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, it's just annoying. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. I want to use this Pokemon. Time to grind. Guys, like, exactly. Guys, hate the grinder. Guys. I hate the grind. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying get rid of it. I'm saying have the option to turn it off. I, agree. I don't care how I deep in the menus it is. I don't care if it's impossible to find. Just let me fucking do it. You're going to put like the Konami did. code in to yeah, get it or I something. I would be fine with that. It's like the Pokemon Red, how you go like in the certain menus and you can glitch to the Elite Four. Yeah. You can somehow glitch the EXP share out Off. of the game. Dude, Hacker Man incoming. I would do that. You know what? But when you were talking about like seeing new Pokemon, Jackson, mm. there's nothing quite like watching someone who hasn't played Pokemon, yeah. watching a Pokemon evolve. Yeah. And they obviously haven't checked the wiki. They don't like, they don't oh. know what's coming. And it's like, dun, dun, dun. And it's, it's so like exciting. flashing between the silhouettes there. And then it's like, whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah, the internet and wikis and spoilers and stuff has hell ruined shit like that for me. Hell yeah, bad. Yeah, try not to look into it too much. Well, yeah, it's, it's almost impossible to avoid on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. Why did my koi fish become a dragon? <laughs> what the, <laughs> Dude, what the hell? That, that was the best part of playing Minecraft is just playing Minecraft before I knew about the Minecraft wiki. And I was like, what is this? Oh, and then it's like I would try and mine it and then it would destroy it because I was mining gold with, with <laughs> I a pickaxe. have a specific memory of like mining bedrock for so yeah. long <laughs> yeah. because it's like We've I, all been I, I had obsidian at that point I think and then I was like oh man it takes even longer than obsidian yeah. like it's taken a while that was a good time though it's like an actual adventure yeah I, I mean there's a lot of new updates now with Minecraft and it was crazy to I played it a little bit it's you good can, you can dig twice as deep now yeah, 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 the What's cave the systems are actually nuts. You can actually go down further. The cave systems are cool now. You get lost. What's I the deal lost. with that? Minecraft, mo like best updated game, I think. Yeah, like, like every update hits hard, holds up, absolutely well, yeah, holds up. There, there's enough people playing it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's not enough people playing Smash to update that shit anymore. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> there's They're not working on Smash Six, I believe. Yeah, I hope so. What do you think is going to happen oh, yeah. in Smash Six? Ooh, probably cut down the amount of characters. I was going to say yeah, half. They would so, have yeah. to. Half the roster based on my preference, I think. Yep. Who's Smart. definitely in, who's definitely out? Well, me and One Sakurai are back and forth on the emails. Remove we're, projectiles. We're, mm. You know, Min Min definitely out, Olimar gone. We're iffy on whether we'd include Martha or Lucina. Marth. But, uh, Marth, Marth. Yeah. Marth. Oh, you pick one. Yeah. That has to be Martha. And then, yeah, we'll cut out all the echoes. I don't know why the fuck they added that in. I like the echoes. Controversial. I do too, but then they should just keep adding, <laughs> they should keep adding skins for other characters. They do, yeah. but they're not worth your time. 
They need yeah. to with a slot. They but they don't really to, take any time, right? That's kind of the whole point. They need to add skins for online. That'd be I guess I more mean the content. echoes like Lucina and Crom. Yeah. Because they're like, Lucina's just better than Marth and less cool. Do you think? So like, what a waste of space. <laughs> do you think that's the next Smash game will have a battle pass? Yeah, that's the way to do it. Do you every think game, every like, game, yeah, yeah, well, like because they Overwatch Two just came out, yeah, and it's just Overwatch, but they've turned it into like a free to play battle pass system thing. Can Gosh. you imagine? Oh, but it's oh, I was gonna say the popularity of it, but it's not on computer. The popularity of Smash, if it was free and on computer, would be insane with good online. Oh yeah, yeah, if it was yeah, but oh, that's insane. Not gonna but like you know, like. Multiverses with the battle pass. Four guys got re-released as a free to play with a battle yeah. pass. It's literally just the system that everything does now. Fortnite are on. They, they I mean, Fortnite really like they cracked the code, kicked it off. I don't know if it's not their idea. It's always been a thing, but Fortnite hell kicked it off. Yeah, Smash Six got to do it. They got to do it. I'll be, oh, get ten sparks online and unlock Funky Kong skin. Oh, stuff like man, that would be, be great. I would actually want to play the game every day. Yeah. Could you imagine? That'd be so fun. It's like daily, daily quests. Like COD camos. It's I like always you- just annoying when we come up with better ideas in four seconds. I don't know. Yeah. And Peter almost does already play the game every day, but he's like, but then I'd actually enjoy <laughs> yeah, it. I don't <laughs> want to go on. Classic Nintendo fans. Dude, imagine you could get on the freaking thing and I'd be recording a video or I'd be doing a live stream. Instead of being like, I guess I'll play Falco and Elite Smash, I'll yeah, be like, oh, I've got to do this. Let's pick this. 1,000 kills is Ganon or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was an easy, nice, Dress easy one. Dress up five times in a row. Wow, achievement <laughs> unlocked. Let's go, Falco. Dude, achievements in Smash. Yeah, I mean, there already is some <laughs> basic ones, but that would be so funny. Yeah. Like, actually, it's so funny if ones. you versus Samus and it's new trash talk. You're like, this Samus is going for the fucking 500 minutes of charge shot charge. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to build up to that achievement. She must be. Well, oh, that that careful with some of that stuff, wouldn't they? True, because people <laughs> might uh, deliberately tank their rating so then they can get easier matches. Or it's like peg opponents five times. Don't get hit kill. for five minutes. It's like someone just running oh, around in the no. circle. <laughs> <laughs> they do not want that. See how they do Circle-camping. it. I mean, you could just not play for five minutes and get it. Then you wouldn't get hit. You get hit. What about the opponent? What? No, you just don't play the game for five minutes. Then you're not getting hit for five minutes. Well, that's not how it works. Hilarious. Smart. <laughs> <Thanks>. Smart. <laughs> Smart. Although oh, smash people bugs. already do like tank their GSP, so it's not going to change anything. No, but they they, didn't, they don't even have a reason. And then yeah, if they do, already do it. Exactly. So imagine if you had a reason, the extra people. Dude, I was getting, I was getting I stream sniped so much in my Nuzlocke oh, really? videos, in my Elite Smash Nuzlocke ones. Oh, it's just, it's just torture, man. It's so bad. I got into a free for all rule set and there were two stream snipers in the same match. So oh, they, oh, they, they team up. They just go Done. for you. It was cringe, man. It was so that. cringe. <laughs> Should we talk about the real life? underdogs video that went up this week yes hopefully you guys have seen it it is actually not performing that well but it's an absolute banger yeah, what's the deal with that if you haven't seen is the, it not doing well sydney amazing race you gotta go see that i think it'll pick up over time it's a watch time decent or uh people are loving it so it'll probably go up but yeah we went over to sydney uh we can finally reveal what we were doing there the amazing race organized by peter very very fun video yeah zach loved fun. every part of it <laughs> yeah especially my challenge yeah zach loved his outside challenge. the opera house can you see in the video that i am not there for that yeah you had to leave it was too cringe well, i, I to the I toilet but i literally had to leave at the same time you went to the toilet and you came back it was literally like 20 minutes later it, to be fair the toilet was a long way away just but shit yeah. in the harbor we were i right thought next about to it them. i tried to but yeah, yeah. They were like, don't, don't, don't do that here yeah, if you want to see my soul slowly leave my body go watch that video <laughs> so i watched it through on like the first edit thing and then when we released that i just watched it again with sophie and i literally wanted to skip that part because i hate cringe stuff <laughs> and i experienced in person and then i experienced it in the video and i was like that's i can't watch this again no more me singing i need a dollar as well i, I realized after i probably shouldn't have been singing that literally sounding like a yeah beggar, bigger. like and dude, the instead worst of part, a good singer you're like walking around with the hat and doing it and you're just like I need a dollar. You got a dollar? Nope. Ooh. I thought it would be the quickest way to get a dollar. <laughs> Man. That makes sense. No, that's a good play. I, Peter, when he was like, oh, he's doing We Will Rock You, and then it cuts his act. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dollar. It's so funny. Well, he was kind of doing like boom. Yeah, boom, yeah, boom. yeah like, I, it, I thought it was. I can see why he thought that. And then it's kind of funny in the video, you don't see how much of a struggle Jackson's challenge was. He has to do, had to do like 40 push ups. Oh, they really cut that down. Sit-ups, yeah, I watched the first bit. I was dips. like, oh, that looks pretty embarrassing for me. That was pretty uh, tiring. It was intense. Yeah, yeah really so the long. It and I feel like I'm. Well. pretty fit like reasonably yeah. at least and I'm I was glad, struggling a lot I'm glad you did it and not me or Zach <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that way we would have been there all day yeah, yeah I'm, hard. I'm also kind of glad we didn't do the swim one of that because we didn't say it in the video but 
It was to go to this pool that like the waves lap over. It's like yeah. the oldest swimming club in Australia or something. But we're going to have to like pay to get in and then oh, have to film okay. shit in there. It was going to be kind of annoying. So Also, you were saying how the, the person in the water would have no audio. It would just be like what, yeah. us watching them swim <laughs> for yeah. like 20 They're minutes. swimming. Look at yep. them go. That's swimming. <laughs> he looks tired. So, and to be fair, you were just we just watched you do exercise as well. So it wasn't much But at different. least I could be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and noises such as That's that. True. And we could be like, come on, right come next on, to you. big fella. I think we're looking at doing more challenges like that because that was a lot of fun for us. Hopefully, it was a lot of fun for you guys. It made a good video. But we just need to think of a better title and thumbnail. <laughs> Is that where we went I wrong? Think, probably. Uh, probably. Probably. But uh, that was what I was going to go into. Is you should check out our Patreon. Underdogs, patreon.com slash underdogs pod. Yes. Because that is a good way of funding those sorts of video ideas. Because that time in particular, we were over in Sydney to do the Mario, Mario and Rabbids. Rabbids video. But we're looking, we want to do some more big ideas like that. Yeah. And but having we, the money to invest into some, doing some bigger projects would be pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. That and reinvesting into like the podcast. Yep. But it's really just to support those videos too. Because mm-hmm. yeah, realistically, like we don't make a lot of money on that channel. We make more money on the underdogs gaming channel. Yeah. Like, yeah. because those videos are more essentially, they're not free to make, but you know, we have edited costs on our time, but there's no other costs apart yeah. from like a game, but those, the other videos are much more cost intensive, but that's so much fun. Like yeah. we love making them. So it's like worth it. Yeah. I was just going to say, cause we brought up the, we bring out the Patreon every week very quickly, but it is the best way to support those sorts of bigger ideas. Plus, the content on the extra Patreon edition of the pod has been going pretty hard. So it's pretty oh, we dropped some spicy bangers last week, didn't we? <laughs> oh, if you that's wa- right. If you wanted to hear the, uh, oh, the Donkey raps. Kong rap that <laughs> I'm writing, that's... Uh, oh, are you going to show your your rap? He did a bit last week. He did a preview Ooh, last I don't know week. If I, I, you can drop some more I lines wanna from it. I want to save it for You Lose Your Cosplay, that's the fair. finished product. That's fair. Because that is the video it's going to be in. We've had a nice little tease. Yeah. Cheeky. We so. often talk about like upcoming videos, I feel like, or what we're going to do in Underdogs. Spoilers. So if you like that information. A bit more of a deep dive. That's right. Anyway, back to the regular podcast. We have a game organized, We have a massive we? game. Um, we have a, a huge massive game. game. Oh, shit. All Obviously, right, guys. yeah, this podcast is uh, going crazy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I was trying to bring it back to not plugging the Patreon edition too hard because we save the good shit for That's this fine. one. That's fine. You can do that. You can take some time to do All that. All right, guys. This game <laughs> is called James Corden. Do that if I were you. <laughs> so Wait, oh, are we shitting on James, James Corden? Corden? We've got three it. James Corden stories and you guys are his PR group. We got, need to spin these stories in the right have way. I he got cancelled this week. He got banned from a restaurant. What being happened? A dick to the being server. Well, stuff. There's, would you like to go first, seeing as no, you know before nothing? Before we get into the nothing. game, can yes. we have a, just a bit of a chat about how shit of a bloke James well, Corden is? it kind of goes over it in this game. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so we'll start with Jordan. You're going to have yeah, to I don't spin. Know. I don't so know. the game is you have to spin it in a positive way. Get your PR oh, hat Jordan, on and spin around. Your, no. name, your name is the closest to James Corden, Jordan. Yes. So... So J- Jay Orden. So you're you should be good. Okay. Yep. Right. right. So this is about a Here story. I'm James. No, no. no you're I'm his PR rep. PR. And we're going to figure out how to spin this in a positive way. All right. Okay. Your PR stands for Jordan. Yeah. Power rankings. Nope. All right. All sweet. right. Smash it. Right. Number one. Story number one. Are in these June, real? These are real. Well, I suppose we don't know for sure, but oh. reportedly, yes, they are real. And he got banned from this restaurant. Okay. In June, James Corden was here on table 61. Mm-hmm. After eating his main course, Jordan, sh- uh, Jordan. <laughs> Corden showed the hair to the Bal- Balthazar. Does anyone know how to pronounce that? Balthazar? Balthazar. That's hair in the so food. he got a hair in the food. He got a f- hair in the food. Despicable. And the manager was very apologetic. Corden was very nasty to the manager. He said, get us another round of drinks this second and take, take care of all our drinks so far. This way I write any nasties in review. I won't write any nasty reviews in Yelp or anything like that. Spin that for me, Jordan, quickly. Well, he's really just trying to help them out, really. It's a despicable act that they've done. Wait, what does a PR manager do? I don't get this. You've got to try and make this shit story sound, sound positive. Good for, jo- good for James. Well, he's really, help- he's really helping them out. We kept it under wraps. It's a pretty, you know, they should get their stuff together. All right, I don't think you've got he's a career so in good PR. He okay. <laughs> didn't expose the restaurant. I, I really don't understand this. What? Like, how do you else go first? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get wait, Peter wait, in this. Oh, Jordan, Jordan's brain what? is not powerful enough to wait, work wait, this one wait, out. Wait, so like he didn't take down the whole restaurant. Oh, he didn't burn it to the ground. He didn't shit in well, their sink. thing to do. What do I say? Do we need to work as a team? Can maybe no, a collective we'll just give team. someone else a turn. No, no, All right. Hang on, hang on. No, Jordan. You've what do you do? Jordan's got it. Jordan's you just lie. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You spin the story. You make it sound like... Well, you're kind of doing the right thing. You make it sound like a good thing. Well... 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I love how you go spin the story and then you just do a circular motion with your hands and, and, and you're well, like, well, story well, spun. Well, well. Let um, me turn this around. Do you need the story? No, you know get, the story. What do you do? Oh, James actually donated millions. No, you don't oh. actually like. Please let someone else yeah. go. All right. Number two, this is for Peter. <laughs> I don't get it. All right, James Clearly. Gordon was back at the same restaurant with his wife on October 9th for brunch. He asked for a table outside. Uh, they took the order to table 301. Mr. Gordon's wife ordered an egg yolk omelette with gruyere, gruyere? Cheese, cheese and salad. Yeah, cheese. A few minutes after they received the food, James called their server, MK, and told her there was a little bit of egg white mixed in with the egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> MK in floor, informed the floor manager, G, that the kitchen remade the dish, but unfortunately it was sent back with fries instead of a salad. That's when James Corden began yelling like crazy to the server. You can't do your job. You can't do your job. Well, that's what he said. Maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. MK was very apologetic and brought G over to the table. He returned to the dish and after that, everything was fine. He then gave them promotional champagne glass to smooth things out. James said that Corden was pleasant to him, but nasty to the server. MK was very shaken, but professional that she is, continued to finish her shift. Wait, is this real? These are, well, yeah, these are real. They're alleged stories, but Wait, yes. why would he do that? <laughs> he's a bit of a dick. Is he? You yeah. need to be his PR he manager. He seems so spinning. nice. Well, that's because that's the character. When he sings. Anyway. In the car. <laughs> when he sings in the car. You've been had by his PR <laughs> that's team. That's all I've seen. Yeah, this is the power of PR. This is what you need to be doing. Very okay, impressive. so the thing with the, like, the food things is that when you're trying to be healthy, mm. it's already a challenge itself. We've all been there, you know, trying to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And then you go out to places that have healthy options. Are you taking note of this, by the way? Yeah, that was, how do you do so that? So when though? you go for that, you know, the <laughs> egg yolk omelette, yeah. you are ordering yeah. an egg yolk omelette. Oh, and people right. may have certain allergies, intolerances. And so it's really just not acceptable to come with that. So understandably, yep. he sends it back as any reasonable person would do. Oh, it's good. And then it comes back with fries instead of salad. You're still trying to make these healthy oh. choices. And these establishments that you are paying to be in and you're paying for them to do the work <laughs> Fuck for you. these establishments. And you're having to do the work yourself. Yeah. So you can understand James's frustration and I anger. I can now. As we are all human, people do tend to lash out when they're having a moment of weakness. Yep. And being pushed with two mistakes continuously. Oh. It was very pleasant after the first mistake. And then the second time, Look, we all make we're all humans. We make you know we make mistakes, and you can't just smooth that over with free cheap champagne. That doesn't just smooth everything over. So, we're glad that we made a, a, like an amends. I'm yep. sure James was like loved to go back there and try it again because he loves the food. Normally, it was just this was just all up to their normal standard. Yeah, I agree, Jordan. I agree. What's no. your notes on that? So let's talk about how that well, was different to yours. Well, you <laughs> can't spell Peter without PR. <laughs> <laughs> he immediately came up with the health thing, and I knew exactly where he was going. But how did you get? How did you come up with that? Uh, see, like when. I was born, yeah, right? A brain. Yeah, this thing developed in my head. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> <laughs> but where do the thoughts come from? Oh, no. Is it really hey, mean? Can I, can I have a turn? There's one left. Oh, Are you beautiful. ready? Beautiful. No way, Zach. That's good, because I knew those two, but I don't think I know this one. Mm, hang on, let me just grab it up. He went back to the same... He wasn't hated that much. Yeah, I know. He'll back. probably go back... Oh, no, he's banned now. So oh, I've got, go back. Oh, we've long. got two left, so we'll go one for okay, you, and then nice. we'll go one as a team. No, one yeah. for Jordan's redemption. Oh, yeah, okay. No, please, no. Okay, Zach, this one's for you. Half an hour into a New York to London flight, passengers in business class noted, noticed a woman with a crying baby being brought through the curtains by a flight attendant. They looked on in mild horror as they saw the attendant direct her to an empty seat next to James Corden. Nice. Expecting a huge celebrity hissy fit to kick off, Corden's cabin mates were impressed to see that he did not say a word or make any sort of complaint. He simply put on a pair of noise-cancelling headphones, put on an eye mask over his eyes and turned away from her to sleep. Oh, I haven't screenshot the next part. As it turns out, that was his wife and child. <laughs> <laughs> PR spin. Let's hear it. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toughie. Um, oh, God. It's hard, <laughs> isn't it? No, this, one, hard. this one's easy. I think I, this is my colleague in life. I think I was about oh, to say. Really? I, I mean, I could. I was trying to think of a different way to do it, but I could just say like. He wanted, oh, I don't fucking know. Oh, no, he's been stumped uh, as well. So Come on, Peter, let's hear it. No way, what no, let's angle? Let's just it. give me like a brief angle you do. Cause I would definitely do. Um, parenting is extremely hard and he does so much work the rest of the time that this was his, like her turn. Yeah, to do I was thinking like work. a wind down sort of see, thing. My take he so on hard. the 
the spinning mm-hmm. is to just completely lie about the events that went down. Mm-hmm. So yeah, then if you get fat checked, you're like fact checks, you're just completely fucked. That's why you've got to just spin it a little bit. You just twist the truth a bit. You don't, you don't make something yeah, up completely. Yeah, okay. Good. So this is what I would say. I would say that while it might have looked like James Corden put on his noise cancelling headphones and eye mask, he was actually using the latest <laughs> version of Google Glass Brilliant. and watching a TV screen which was showing nanny cam footage of the baby next to him so that he wouldn't get a sore, <laughs> he wouldn't get a sore neck, neck turning his yeah. head to the left. Wow. And the noise cancelling headphones were actually on the noise pass through mode so that he could better filter the audio specifically from the left side to listen to his lovely it's baby's amplifying voice. That shit. Amplifying. amplifying the voice so that he could know exactly exactly what his baby would need. And as he was turning away, he knew because he was checking the eye mask and the the uh, noise wow. pass through, he knew that the baby was crying because it was next to James Corden. So the less attention he gave the baby, the happier it would make the baby because the baby, like anyone else on the planet, did not want to be next to James Corden. Although it was his own son. <laughs> You're his PR, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, the child was also not his. The it child was, was a piece of shit. <laughs> by his wife, who he is no longer with. They've gotten a divorce because she was a child trafficker. Wow. James Gordon wanted no part in that. Wow, he's a hero. Yeah, he's a best. hero. He doesn't interact with child trafficker or traffic children. What a hero. Are you ready for your redemption? No, but I'll give it a shot. All right. I think Zach's done very well there. Yeah, so it took me a while to find the angle, but just lying about yeah. To everything. be fair, PR agents don't have to do it instantly, so because it's not it's not what it looks like, you know. Yeah, that's what you got to try and do. Okay, All right, Jordan, it's not, it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Yep, go on. <clears throat> I'm listening. This is just a little excerpt. As mm-hmm. it stands right now, one of the top voted comments accuses. This is about an AMA that he did. One of the top voted comments accuses James Corden of showing up to a Writers Guild Association meeting to advocate for lower pay for starting writers. So low, according to the comment thread, that it equated to a wage that's barely livable in Los Angeles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can have some time. Yeah, give me a bit. A real PR a bit. person has a little bit of time. Yeah, give me a bit of time. So he's gone to the meeting, said the meeting, they're said getting overpaid writers who are right. famously underpaid, I feel like. Also, like, famously doing his job for him. Yeah. Wait, like, writers for what? Uh, I'm assuming just in general, Writers Guild Association is like... Like novels? Like a... Um, no, 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 writers for TV shows and... Com- oh, like yeah. The Writers so, Guild is like a union for writers. Well, let's be real. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, let's get yeah, real, yeah. let's get real. We only really watch the cream of the crop when it comes to TV and movies. Okay. No one's looking at shit. And so why would we want to pay people for shit? So I reckon... Uh-oh. We want <laughs> <laughs> face. Oh. I'm on board. I don't want to pay for shit. So I agree. Agree. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So really, it's kind of letting these people who are just not really doing much. Maybe they should move into other avenues of work mm-hmm. and uh, simply quit. <laughs> and uh, it'll it'll force people to become the cream of the crop. It'll result in better content, and the rest can. Uh, do something more helpful because if you think about it, just writing, it's not doing much for the world. All right, so Jordan, Jordan, we've I'm given them jobs. Yep, he's I'm on board. In in factories. I like I, to picture that Jordan's at like a what are those called? The little stand, like talking to a crowd of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, yeah, having a pitch. So we can get some questions from the crowd. Can I jump on board with this one, Jordan? Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> we need you. A little thing called supply and demand. Yes. If yeah. there was greater so, like demand for these writers, exactly, yeah. they would be getting paid more because they would be He's good. in demand. He's good. But Word the supply than me. Yeah. is too high, and so if you just pay them less, then they'll go into professions that we actually do need. Ooh. That's exactly what Jackson, I said. But with, <laughs> Jackson, that's what's way your dream wording? job, by the way? <laughs> A low-paid writer. <laughs> <laughs> but thinking, saying, we're talking about like no one needs fucking writers. There's too many of them. <laughs> there like, is, oh. to be fair, a lot of writers. I mean, if there's a lot of people being like, oh, it's so hard to get a gig as a writer. Well, there's clearly no demand for you. Yeah, well, because when true. people die, they just keep doing it. Ghost writers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard there's like an infinite number of writers yeah. still. They never <laughs> go away. <laughs> it's never going down. <laughs> oh, God. I was going to say, yep. you were talking about cream of the crop writers. Yeah. But then he was advocating for them to be paid less. So you think the writers should be better and also get paid less? It was actually for starting for writers. starting no, writers. Oh, okay. Like okay. get rid of, yeah. So like just yeah, they can't even get a foot in the door. So that it's like you lock the door. It's like you want you know that yeah. people what? always talk about <laughs> hustle culture. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Being That's what I'm on saying. the grind, like Twitch streamers. Yep. You don't just get a free pass for being a small streamer and a new streamer. No. You get fucked. 
Yeah. You get no viewers, you get no money, you get no support, you it's get true. no ads. Look at this PR agency. You don't have a union for that. And James Corden's just trying to put everyone on a level playing field. What a guy. I think Equality. Peter's got a job coming up. Equality. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Peter kind of said exactly what I said, but way better. Yeah, he's got he's got better like um, choice of words Linguistic and skills. Diction. Yeah, I think with Jordan's questions of the weeks, he always has a good idea, but the phrasing you use for it is always quite yeah, poor. I think that's what it is. Yeah, but ideas are often very good. Because you're actually smart. Thanks. Like sometimes you, <laughs> I mean, sometimes your wording like makes it not appear so. Also, you lean into it a little bit. A little but bit. But like people don't know that you're actually a very intelligent gentleman. Do they not? I think they do. How do oh, they know? They do know? not know that. Nah, uh, some people know. People said that my brain idea was good. What yeah. brain idea? The one where you keep passing uh, it on. Yeah. The one from last week that you were not happy with. Yeah, yeah let's not get idea. dredge that back up because mm. yeah, fair, was. fair. Yeah, James um, Corden just ruins everything he's in. Was I he, didn't know about was this. he doing the freaking the the fake? Flash mob in yeah. the car thing. Was that was that him. James yep. again? Dude, that was Remember? maybe the worst thing I've ever seen. Yep. Oh, for those that Do haven't you know that? seen no. it, it's, like, it's a first person video of someone in their car and they're like... What movie were they plugging? They were... I don't know. One, no. Some, nah, some musical thing. Was he dressed as a and mouse? And it's like, they wound down the window and the people, in the, the people in the car were like, oh, wow, look, they're like doing a flash mob. They were like kind of getting behind it. They wound down the window. James Corden was like humping the air. It was pretty cursed. And then... It showed another one where it turned out the people in the car were actually in on it, like paid to film it and not act paid excited. much, hopefully. And everyone that wasn't like the these one people filming it was like, "What the fuck? They stopped the all road. the traffic <laughs> to do this shitty flash mob." Like, oh, so and it's funny. just the video itself is just so uncomfortable because it's like singing like a musical except with no mu- backing music yeah, just in the middle no of the street mixing on the street through a car window so oh, it sounds so pretty bad they just created like a traffic jam pretty much yeah just for the sake of like here's a promotional oh. video can you do also that? he was in cats i guess so. that's unforgivable yeah you love cats zach james corden flash mob let's see if we can get some audio up uh I don't Do know, you know that, that was legal. To the Bluetooth. That you can just create a mob Dude, to stop traffic. Anything illegal if you're a celebrity. Yeah, that's right. Oh. He's that's lawyers. why you see Zach just like mugging people on he the street. He does whatever he wants. He does. He's got enough sub- Once you hit a million subs, you're oh, literally it's, immune. It's let's get loud. <laughs> oh, not this shit. <laughs> let's get loud. Wait, I thought I could. Is it going to be think copyright? It's Bluetooth, but it will be copyright, so better not play it. Oh, what? Even on let's their shitty loud. flash mob version of well, it? I mean, your loud. shitty musical masterpiece has got copyrighted, so I'm well, sure then, theirs I'll will. I'll play less than five seconds of it. Right, ready, guys? Go. Ready? Ready. <laughs> this is sweet. <laughs> James Corden's in a fucking loud. mouse costume air humping. What movie is it? Oh, I can't describe how fucking cursed this is. <laughs> Zach, it, you've dressed in a few costumes, I must say. Yeah, but yeah. not one time. I think I just I saw a video of you humping hump. in a certain costume, actually, now <laughs> I think about it. Uh, yeah, but I did not air hump some random person's car window. Nobody paid them. It's a genius. Not much, again, but that's fine. This is just prostitution with extra steps. <laughs> Paying someone to hump them? Yeah. yeah. Is it a furry if you're a mouse? Wait, no. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Paying someone to hump them. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally, well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, underdogs learn sex. How did so we. Uh, James Corden's been a terrible mouse. Yeah. He's been a terrible cat. Dog time. And he's Dog been time. a terrible human now. Yeah. He's so kind of running out of animals. Yeah. 101 Corden Dalmatians. Sorry? And he plays every Dalma- oh, Dalmatian. Oh, right. We're remaking movies with him in it. Yeah. Dalmatians. All right, it's time for him to be a dog. J- what about, Jay-mations. What about the Underdogs movie? The literal movie, no. Underdog. Yeah, who's, who's James <laughs> Gordon going to oh, play? I feel like James Gordon would play me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Out of all the late night hosts, Jimmy Fallon would probably be Peter. God, I hate late night hosts. Yeah, <laughs> no, too. I'm big on Conan O'Brien. Big oh. on the Conan. Oh, he's Agreed. a classic. But he but doesn't do it. He quit. No, he quit, yeah. The thing oh. with these people is that they're designed they're to be good. as palatable as possible to yeah. the biggest audience. Yeah, I think so that's kind of what- completely personality-less? That's kind of what's good about Conan is, is I don't think he's like that. Oh, okay, that's good. He's kind of the one that isn't like that. But as a result, his show got cancelled a bunch. Yeah. Shit, yeah. so. As a result, the least people like it. Yeah, so it's kind of like, I don't know. Because they, they Time have to this... sip your water, your straight white late night yeah, shows. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they like... Because any performance that goes on, mm. the person goes on stage they're like, wow, wasn't that awesome? Yeah. Like, and it's, it's like, you don't think that. Yeah. You say that about everything that's ever been there. Oh, like it's... you are literally just like a robot. Yeah. And then they'll say like a really mediocre joke. They were like, oh yeah, because I was shopping at the grocery store and Jimmy Fallon's like, 
<laughs> yeah. Like the most fake laugh you've ever fucking heard. Uh, it's say, too easy. Say funny quip. <laughs> <laughs> like, make fun of myself. <laughs> Wait for audience laughter. <laughs> the thing I hate the most about it is about the night? fact that they pretend none of it's scripted when it so obviously oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was watching this one what they did with Charlie Puth that was showing up on like my TikTok. Charlie Puth, like talks about how he could make a song with any sound because he did that light switch song. I saw this. And then he was like, he was like, oh, I could make a song out of, you know, tapping this mug. Then Jimmy Fallon's like, oh, really? Because we've actually got an entire laptop and little like synthesizer set up for you to make a song. And then Charlie Puth's like, oh, wow, really? I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> oh. Anyway, we've already got the preloaded mug tap sound and then yeah. he makes a song out of it. And it's like, why didn't you just say you prepared it? Yeah. It didn't yeah. take anything away. It's yeah. not like, surprise. Have you noticed when comedians go on them as well and they just do like a joke from their stand-up tour and it's just weird and uncomfortable while no, they're sitting in the seat? really? Yeah, they just do like, because they're like, I'm not going to come up with something else, like a new story. They just tell mm. a story from their stand-up. It's, oh, it's just kind of cool. weird. I don't know. I feel like it's so bad and boring, but so many people watch it. So I don't know. Speaking How of- How can they do that when they're sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was my stand up. Yeah, yeah. Can I get some Jimmy Fallon laughs up? <laughs> <in there? laughs> oh, oh. Isn't he a legend? Yeah, he's Isn't good. He, uh, hey, he's it, good. Give it up for the little thing. Yeah. Yeah. My album is out now in all stores. That's the only reason I've come on the talk show at this exact time, because I'm coming on to promote something and I hate Jimmy Fallon. Thanks for having me. Isn't this guy oh, great? He's, you hate me? We go way back. He can say that. Anyway, time for what's in the box. <laughs> the yeah, speaking of things being um, faked, do you guys ever watch uh, like videos on social media and then you don't really yes. like it, but you're kind of glued to it for a little bit? I've, and then it starts, have appearing, it starts appearing in your feed all the time. I had to quit. Damn, man. <laughs> oh, really? That's, I've had one recently popping up, which is so obviously fake. And I'm like, does anyone really believe this? And I, I know kids do. I think like, it's also part of the appeal because people will comment and say fake and then everyone starts arguing about whether it's fake and it boosts it more in the uh, algorithm. Yeah, Because this, this one was like, it's like the lowest combinator shit. It's like this guy hits on a girl who's walking down the street. Yeah. And he's like, hey, girl, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. And then they shoot him down and then he goes and gets in his Lamborghini. Which is parked right next to mm. that, and oh, then I think- and then they come back and they're like, "Oh, is this actually?" And he's like, mm, "These gold diggers are crazy," and it's like so obviously <laughs> faked. And I'm just like, because firstly, there's a camera filming him on the street, yeah, and then yeah. there's a camera set up in the Lamborghini on the dash, which you would be able to see. Yeah, and these people are like dressed in like, you know, specific yeah, yeah. ways. There's nobody else on the street. I'm just like. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. I and think there's an exact subreddit for this thing. It's called like, where's the cameraman? It's just like, this. so obviously <laughs> they know they're being filmed because how else would this be being like happening at all? That's yeah, fine. I think it's just a huge audience of like people under 14. Yeah, it's gotta be kids. Yeah. But, oh, and then and I saw- elders, I find. Yeah, old oh, people. Oh, true, true. And I, the problem is I watched most of one because I was like, <laughs> I didn't know it was fake. And I was like, you, you know, you're scrolling. Sometimes you get stuck on something. I'm not proud of it. It yeah, happened. Yeah. And then I've seen this exact same video, but with a different girl. Yeah. That's same funny. spot on the yeah, street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, same really? car, same guy, four times. Easy in. money. And I'm just so sick of it. Genius. Do you reckon they just pumped him out on the same day? Sure. Yeah, yeah. They're like, all right, you guys in. All right, you're done. Now bring the other ones yeah, in. Yeah, same like, thing. <laughs> repeat. Here's Don't your have 10 to learn minutes. New of, light. No, That's exactly. Genius. 10 minutes of Facebook fame. <laughs> oh, I hate I might it start too. doing that with you guys every time I record a video. Like, get. Peter out, get Jordan in. Fake See if it's better. To, fake pranks used to be huge. I feel like I haven't seen a prank yeah. in ages now. Yeah. Yeah, pranks. That was prank about YouTube was a thing. 2014? Maybe, 15? yeah. There were so many pranks. Why did that go away? I think it was because they, they suck. Everyone realized it was fake. I think fake. everyone realized that they were fake and then, yeah, it didn't work anymore. That must Fortnite have been it, started. Right? I think they yeah. went. I think they went too far. I was going to say that as well. Like, it kept escalating, and one, then there was a point where you couldn't escalate anymore. There were those dudes that did the fake kidnapping prank, and then like oh, pretended to. That. So they kidnapped a person. This like, sounds in pretend, familiar. Classic and pretended prank. that they kidnapped his brother as well. Oh, that was their friend. And then pretended yeah. to like it was really, really. It was fucked well up. Well executed, so it looked like a real kidnapping. Pretended to shoot his brother with like the bag over his head. I've seen this. Like, this How? sounds very familiar. Was this? Old? Yeah, yeah quite I must old. have seen this and then once. The guy was like traumatized. Uh, I think, or it could have been fake, but this one looked real, and then everyone was like shitting on them for because it's like traumatizing. Yeah, and then it's like, well, how do you go past that? <laughs> That's yeah, what? True. <laughs> I saw the, the next prank is like you actually got to kill someone, so <laughs> I don't think that can <laughs> Dude, go. Dude, it's a prank. Chill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, pranks have died a bit. 
it's good though because they're just being a bad person to someone. Yeah. Like there's COVID a, there's might a have prank as well, actually. True, true. Yeah. There's mm. a prank where you do something to someone and then as soon as they're like, ah, and then you're like, it's a joke. Yeah. And then you don't let them hold their disappointment for yeah. long and then it's fine. Yeah. But I was watching one that popped up the other day and like it got retweeted being like, how could you do this to someone? <laughs> yeah. And it was like, got my brother a fake scratchy for Christmas. And it's supposed oh. to be like, I won ten thousand dollars. Thank you so oh, much, guys. What? And they're just filming him. And he's like, oh my god, guys. This is the best present I've ever got. And they're like, oh, gotcha. After like a minute of letting him oh, celebrate. That just brings the mood down. It's so fucked. <laughs> Why would it's, you do this? Drew Gooden did a good video on that where the guys pretend that they've been in, like enrolled themselves in the army. Yeah. And then they have like a full bag packed and they're dressed in their like new army gear. And then they're like, I told you, babe, like this is going to be really good for my like organization or like my mentality i've really just felt stuck in my life and i want to go they really sell it yeah and then the girlfriend's like crying because they don't think they're going to see them on deployment for six months and then after the girlfriend has cried for at least 10 minutes they're like <laughs> just a prank babe oh my god so fucked. it's a bit of a decoy gift to be honest <laughs> <laughs> ah fuck that would have gone hard i maybe should have been filming the decoy, yeah, the gift. decoy gift prank <laughs> Oh, decoy gift. So yeah, yeah, pranks. What happened to that? Please do not prank me, guys. I'm not into that kind of YouTube. No, I think they're not funny. I don't think I've ever seen a funny prank, to be honest. I used to watch them. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember what it was. Prank that look prank? how you turned out. <laughs> <laughs> like the BF Lauf, Lauf. Lauf. Do you remember that YouTube no, channel? No. L-A-W-F. Oh, oh, yeah. We, yeah. I was not around the prank channels at any point. Oh, I used to love that kind of if stuff. If we could do one underdog's prank video, what do you reckon we should do as an idea? Actually, oh. we were going to prank you and you went away, but I can't remember what it was. We can save that idea for next time he goes okay. away. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to get pranked. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to get pranked. No, but if, you, if you know if I'm the one hosting it, it's not bad natured. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? The prank, like this prank, is the perfect kind of prank. You know what I think is going to be the like the best prank? That what? you guys could do the to me. Best prank. Shit on my lawn. How is that a good prank? Because then I pick, I'd pick it up. I think it was an Ollie shit. But Ollie does some shit. human sized poos. <laughs> I reckon so you can tell the difference. I don't know we'll though. I'd be, I'd be like, Whew, Ollie been eating some shit and then like pick it up and then. Yeah, I you, would you wouldn't the, automatically the, think, no, this oh, is Jackson's shattered. Well, they would if it was you eating the dried apricots like oh, you were telling yes, us. Yes. Oh, <laughs> There'd be no mystery about that God. one. Yeah, well, we for were context talking about viewers, that. Jordan ate some dried apricots. It did not end well. Guys, do not eat too many dried apricots. That's a warning for everyone. Your butthole will look like a dried apricot. Dude, I just kept what? farting so much and it stank and then. Shit was runny and anyway. <laughs> Don't but, eat too much. But of it. With, with with this prank on Zach, you can play the long con. Yeah. And just do it with increasing frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you like start like you <laughs> once every like three months. Yeah. And then you start doing it more and more frequently until it's just every day there's a shit on Zach's lawn. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the a different prank. No, 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 no. This is the shitting on the lawn one. Yeah, every time Imagine if he caught us doing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> we like sneak into his house at night and he comes downstairs and looks out and we're just squatting, all three of us. <laughs> yeah, you get more That's and more people involved. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, how much do you eat? You wake up, there's just 15 turds on the lawn. We get underdogs fans to come in. <laughs> just sh everyone's shitting on the lawn at once. Hang uh, on. It's just a prank. This is a, this is a good Mr. Beast video. I feel like he has the manpower for this. That's true. And where, at what point would you notice? Like I got 100 people to take a shit on this stranger's lawn and the first person to notice it's human shit wins $100,000. <laughs> That's a good video. You're welcome. <laughs> That's so good. There's our weekly shout out as well. Especially because you just have no reason to expect it. Yeah, so I think that's good. That's the kind of prank I would like. Not on me. Last of shit in the circle wins. How many poos do you reckon until you realised it was human pooing and not your dog pooing? As soon as you ate something that you that humans eat. Like there's and corn you can see, kernels. Yeah, you're corn. Like, you're like, oh, no, 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 that's no, no. I'm saying it. It's, so it just looks like a regular poo. Yeah. But like, say- Should we move on so <laughs> I, We definitely the, should. Wait, the first night is just one person poos in the lawn. The second night, two people poo on your lawn. Oh, and Three, what number of at poos? At what number you wake up, you're like, there can't be, you couldn't have done eight five. poos. Five. I reckon five. <laughs> five? That's, I'd be yeah. sceptical with five, especially if you don't live near any dogs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've created the hypothesis. Yep. We, now we have to conduct the experiment. Yep, we do. Uh, anyone else got any good, good prank ideas? That was mine. That was a good oh, one. That was a good prank I idea. can't tell you my one. How did you even come up with that? No, oh, I was just thinking like what... You you talking about pranking me? Oh yeah, sure. And I was thinking like, like what's something that like what I wouldn't you, notice, but it's kind of funny. What if you started replacing someone's food with something else? 
bit by bit and saw how long they noticed. Sawdust. So like, yeah, that's like that that thing, like the sawdust rice cream drink. Except I'm thinking like you replace their milk with just more and more watered down milk until it's all water. <laughs> and, then at what thinking, point, and it's just like with like white food coloring in it. And what it's great just, title is like, at what point do you, do you realize your milk is water? Yeah, because like you, I reckon you could put cereal in water. And if you're having it, if you're pretty groggy that morning, you probably wouldn't even know the difference. Yeah, How much truth. can I come in yeah. my roommate's milk before he knows? <laughs> no, oh, that oh. is not a prank. <laughs> that is <laughs> sexual yeah, assault. Yeah. Yeah. Fucked up. <laughs> Watch out, Nick. <laughs> What about... Oh, no. Got nothing. Um, yeah, not really a prankster. I like the well, slowly I mean, uh, adding stuff. Back on that, though, a lot of the old YouTube pranksters did do sexual assault. Yeah, oh. they were not good people. Turns out that just being a literal asshole to everyone around you makes you do asshole things to everyone around you. Yeah, it's not really surprising. It does take wow. quite the person to be able to do those pranks, in quotes. Yeah. Anyway, Jackson, prank idea. You got one? <sighs> I like pranks that are pretty harmless, sort of, you know... Oh, I got, I got another one, actually. Replace someone's fake plants with real plants, and then they die. Like You're the only person I know that has so many fake plants. Yeah, because I kill all the real ones. No, yeah. They're not that replace, hard to look after. If you replaced after. one of them with a fake plant, I probably wouldn't notice for a few days you and mean a real start one. dying. Yeah. What if you set ev- someone's... Cl- all their clocks and you kept, like, each day, you put it, like, a minute behind or a minute in front? Well, they just think they have a slow clock. Effort. Yeah, I don't know about that one. They're like, oh, my clock's five minutes off. I guess, no, I'll, how I guess I'll fix it. Because you, you go like this. Oh, it's not 12.30, it's 12.35. No, no, no. That's changed as well. I change all your clocks. How are you going to get into my phone? Well, <laughs> it'd, it'd be a good prank for your partner to do on you or something. Like, I feel like a lot of things sync automatically online. This isn't going to work, Joel. No, you can turn it off. Uh, you can. Yeah, you turn it off. Go, do this. Can, not can gonna we happen. do this to Holly no, and Holly see if she notices? Holly listens to the podcast, you'll know. Oh. Do you know anyone who's a really heavy sleeper? No. Me. Okay, Zach. We Wait, go camping shit, with I just Zach. signed myself up for another <laughs> break. <laughs> we, we put Zach on an air mattress. Yep. And yep. In, a, in a tent. Yeah. In yep. the middle of the night, we just set him adrift in the ocean. That's good. I think I would probably <laughs> sleep through that. Yeah. So I've, I've the air mattress is his raft. And then we just like find a jetty and then just give a gentle push. That's a good prank. It's a good That's prank. A great prank. I've heard the, the prank of like, if someone's a heavy sleeper, you pick them up in their sleeping bag and then just dump them out in their undies into the middle of the campground and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to like run back in That's their undies. terrible. It's pretty funny. I might wake up if someone picked me up, but if they no, carry the mattress. Up the mattress yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could just yeah, like dump him out. See you later. Steady. And it, it's filled with air, so it'll float for a bit. It'll yeah. be a bit awkward if he wakes up mid, um, mid carry though. It's like, oh, Shit, hello. Yeah. Just tell him he's in a lucid dream and he'll go back to sleep. <laughs> what if you carry put someone emotions. outside and they get eaten by a bear? Would you feel bad? No. Yes. Did you guys see that video? <laughs> no. What? Oh, the guy kicking a bear? Yeah, the guy getting Damn, attacked by a bear. Yeah. It's fucking dope. What? Holy Whoa. crap. It was in the news. It was like on Twitter and the news and stuff. Yeah, I literally, saw this. this guy climbing, like mountain climbing, like literally doing outdoor rock climbing on like a proper American mountain. Mm-hmm. Just bear out of nowhere from above him, like dives on him. What? It's crazy. Yeah, and then it, it, but the bear's mistake here, it takes the low ground because it jumped down, gave up the high ground. Right. And then he's like yelling, making himself big, kicking at it and shit. And it's all from his POV. It's a hectic video. So he's wearing like a GoPro. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a hectic video. And he video. kind of like, because they're like on a very steep mountain. So he's like kind of kicking the bear down the mountain almost. It's yeah, crazy. while he's kind of climb, trying Holy to climb up. It was a pretty li- little-ish. It was a big bear, like bigger than a person, but it wasn't like a giant, giant bear. Yeah. But I don't know how big bears are, to be honest. Do you guys ever bears have these? Do you guys ever have these thoughts of like what you would do in a situation yeah, like 100%. that? Die, I think, die. For no, a but bear. like, do you ever like run through the situation in your head and you're like, yeah, I would probably like not do for this. a bear. I would just you just have to run and hope well, for the best. We don't need to worry about bears except for koalas, and I reckon I could take one of them. Oh, I could well, they're not bears, are they? Australia they're koala bears. They're marsupials. Australia actually <laughs> doesn't have any scary animals. You know, what is a sharks. saltwater crocodile? Snakes. Oh, okay, where we are, where we are. Spiders. Snakes. The silent killer. Snakes. Snakes are a bit scary, but I'm- Sharks. If I'm out, I'm never like, oh shit, a snake's just going to bite me. But a bear, that's crazy. It's probably because you don't go outside. No, I've gone outside. I've seen a snake. <laughs> You're not worried about it. Do you hear about many bear deaths? I think you hear about more shark deaths. I don't think people have died from spiders. That's not true. Yeah, not since we Ever. discovered antidotes. Yeah. There's they been a lot definitely less. have many people die. And people like no, away from fair. medicine, they can't get <laughs> out. Sydney funnel webs don't fuck around. Yeah. Yeah. You you people don't looking. die to redbacks. Like in, in WA, there's not too many. You know, one of the most deadly animals in Australia is the bloody box jellyfish. How embarrassing is that? Yeah. Just and the fucking the, jellyfish. What's the blue ringed octopus as well? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. brutal. Irukandji jellyfish, they're pretty serious. I, I would be way the more scared ones. like oh, camping yeah, yeah. in America. 
Yeah. And there's like coyotes and bears and shit. That's terrible. I could take a coyote. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. small. Maybe not a wolf though. They have wolves too. I feel like America's animals are more human than ours. Ours are all freaking weird when I think about it. Ours are all like insects More and human, stuff. go on. Mammals. Like, yeah, mammals. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Oh, ours are like sharks Like a snake and... Yeah, they're like, like dinosaurs that. in Australia. Ours are easy yeah. to avoid though. Like, oh no yeah, there's I- sharks. I just won't swim. How do you them. avoid a spider? Spiders. If, spiders. If you want to avoid a bear, just stay in your house. Yeah. Spiders all, come in. All our animals are actually like prehistoric, our deadly ones. Which explains why our internet's so far behind the rest of the fucking world. Yeah, because the crocodiles use it. <laughs> <laughs> the crocodiles are still on dial-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crocodile-up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is birthday love. Hey, three Jimmy Fallons in here Woo-hoo! pronto. Oh. Wait, so... That someone did die to a spider bite in 1979. That's weird. And, and there was since. one other. Yep. No, but none since. Bears. I reckon people die from bears. Bears eat people. Yeah, well, also sharks. Sharks eat people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sharks is a big one, actually. You got any more facts for us, Jordan? Nah, that's all my facts oh, for the, the day. what's the question of the week? My question of the week. Oh, okay. There's a bit of a silly one. Pop it one. <laughs> Unlike the rest of them. Go cool. on. Question of the week. <laughs> <Ba-dum>, boom. <laughs> okay. Well, I haven't done much this week. Just been chilling with Bonnie, our dog we have gotten. But she has a bit of separation anxiety because mm-hmm. she's like, oh, don't leave me. I met yep. Bonnie. Very cute for very any cute listeners dog. wondering. But yeah, that's the problem with dogs because they're like, oh, please don't leave me or do something with me. Yep. But surely they wouldn't do that if they thought you were their equal. You see where I'm going with this? Nope. Where's the question part? Well, they think you're God. Well, at the moment, it's like, oh, you're the boss. And then they're like annoying because you're the boss. I reckon Ollie thinks he's not just equal, but maybe more important than us. Mm-hmm. No, but he'll he's miss very... you and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, but he's also like definitely thinks he deserves the right to go on like the couch and uh, okay. he'll just do whatever he wants. And he's like, yeah, well, why do you get any better than okay, me? Okay, yeah, well, this might not work then. But anyway. I'm on board, Jordan. Different I thought, personalities. Has anyone tried just also being a puppy with their dog. You and know that's the, what you've been trying this week. No, right? no, no, no. Just being on all fours, crawling around and eating dog food. I'm, wow. But do you think that would work better? Because you know dog's like, oh, please give me food. Is that why you ate dog food on stream yesterday? <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, right. But um, you do you reckon that would work? Yeah, yeah, he did. We and like handfuls, dude. He was shoveling it we down. Why? <laughs> I spun the wheel and it landed on that. Anyway, Don't put yeah. it on the wheel. Oh, dog biscuits? <laughs> yeah. They're fucking good, right? That's disgusting. Hey, we're around no, some weird I, people, man. No, it's like I used to eat cat biscuits. I think that's common knowledge at this point when I was younger. <laughs> and I smelt your yep. dog biscuits. They smelt like cat biscuits. I would eat them for free. Dude. Oh, probably not they're free. They're disgusting. They're disgusting. What's wrong with them? They just taste like a dirty dog. Yeah. Oh, but coffee is disgusting when you first have it. You develop a taste, don't you? Well, I guess I could. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> you so just got to keep eating more. <laughs> what was your question again? I was... Has anyone tried being do a dog you, to you make their it, dog less of a bitch? Do you think it would work if no. you were your dog? No. So why don't... That could be a good way to teach them tricks. If Holly says to you, like, Jordan, play dead. And then you do it. And then she gives yes, you a treat. Yes, yes. And then the dog's watching you. And sh- the dog's like, oh, well, oh. if this idiot's doing it, then I should do it <laughs> hey, too. Hey, babe, we got a trained body. Can you put this collar on me? And I'll <laughs> crawl around on all fours and I'll be naked and shit. Well, like- she's like, that is not what it says in the pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> babe, I swear it's a training body. <laughs> well, have you seen that video where it's like the dog and it's like biting this toy or something? Yeah. And then the, they've got like a dinosaur puppet. And then they the dinosaur puppet bites the toy. Yeah, and then they smack this. it. Yeah. And then they give it back to the dog and the dog doesn't bite. It, that could work. Wow, it could work. It's kind of like that's so weird training. You're you're going to piss on the floor, then <laughs> Holly and then Holly's gonna come me. up and just fucking clock you on, and then you're gonna look Bonnie in the eyes and be like, "Don't this do that." Does sound mm. a typical kinky night at Jordan's. Yeah. <laughs> it could work. What if you then slowly integrated back into your life and Bonnie started making YouTube videos or something? <laughs> like it just kept imitating you as you slowly became a because human. Because it's again. like we're equals. Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. Like, oh wow, YouTube. Oh, oh, I guess right. I should make a YouTube account. I should get on that. You I come th- home and Bonnie's on the laptop, <laughs> <laughs> streaming, <laughs> eating dog biscuits. Oh, <laughs> <Ryan> man, part <laughs> fifty-three. <laughs> <laughs> no, when she spins the wheel, it's actually a reward to get Eat the dog yes. biscuits. <laughs> What's human biscuits? Like Cheerios? Yeah, Dude, I biscuits. wish there were other animals as smart as us. Could you imagine tuning into Twitch and there's just an emu like, oh, <laughs> gotta spin the wheel, boys. <laughs> I feel like I already barely understand a lot of people as is. Yeah. No, but if it was just other animals, that'd be great. You know, I reckon I would get along with a lot of animals better than some people. It must be incredibly rare that we're on a planet with only one animal that's way better. Surely other planets have no, like... No, it makes perfect sense. No, but... 
Why can't frogs just be also Because have we dominate brains? everything else. Yeah, nothing can even get close. It's competition. There doesn't make sense to have uh, two things equal. Over a long no, time, other, other things will probably get smarter. Look how take, smart dogs are. If you are take humans out of the equation, okay. then what's, there's a lot of equals. No, they're not equal. They're just equal in our eyes. And then if one rose yeah, up, it right. would dominate everything else. How would two rise up at the same time? It makes no sense. Even if you go like, think about the food chain. Yeah. That's it's it. like saying like, why aren't there five top predators at once? It doesn't make sense. Because the dog chases the c- cat that chases the mouse that chases Sharks the and this. dolphins are pretty equal. Mm-mm. I don't reckon anything's getting past humans now because if something got too intelligent, we'd be like, fuck, they're going to take it over. Robots. Yeah, we would exterminate them. them. Robots will pass us. We'll make them. And then they'll nuke us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah brilliant. Maybe now we could talking. be equal with robots for a bit and they could stream. We're almost at that level, right? They're better at some stuff than us. Yep. Mm, Imagine so an entertaining robot. Get, you could we'll do an AI grim. stream. I reckon it would probably like be close. You could like definitely like use a VTuber model and then get it to say stuff and play gameplay in the background. You could definitely have oh. a robot streaming. Do you think if we plugged in all the Jordan questions of the week into an AI computer and then just let it pump out questions, they'd be better than Jordan's questions? How long? It would break. It, <laughs> it can't handle that much information. We should try that for next week. If anyone's got a good website where we'd be able we just to do can, that. I feel like you can do like the something bot, you know, like someone oh. bot. And we could just put all Jordan's questions of the weekend and just see what it asks. Ask Jeeves. And see what it learns. Not ask Jeeves. <laughs> ask Jeeves. <laughs> yeah, see what it learns and see what it wants to ask. If anyone feels like collating every pop at one question of the week, then... God. Yeah, you get a lemon. You will get a lemon. You won't get much, actually. But we will do that idea. I'll send you a photo with a thumbs up. How's that for a deal? Yep. That's I think good. on the apocalyptic robots nuking us, that's a pretty good place to end the podcast. All right, right? brilliant. Are that's we about at the end time? Oh, you know. It seems pretty quick. <coughs> sure. Me. Yeah, yeah. That's been almost an hour. So oh, yeah. Well, thanks for listening. Yeah, flew by. Yeah. Do you know where you can right. find and, uh, more podcast content? Uh, yeah. yeah, there's more than the enough for you. Patreon.com slash underdogs pod. Five bucks a month. That is $1.25 per podcast. Wow. It's Think only going to get better and better. So that's like for an Just extra. Just don't have a coffee once. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just wow. have both of them. It doesn't really matter. Oh, should we upload?